It was reported Sunday at around 09.30 hours that staff from Mandera Water and Sewerage Company were making a routine drive from the border town of Elwak to Mandera town when the unexpected occurred. According to police, the vehicle was ferrying at least eight persons, five staff and three children. When approaching Jabi area, 35 kilometers from Ramu town, the vehicle reportedly swelled on the road, narrowly missing an improvised explosive device, IED, abruptly stopping a few meters from it. The security report further indicates that an unknown number of Al-Shabaab operatives then ambushed the vehicle, indiscriminately spraying it with bullets. Unfortunately, during the attack, one person sustained gunshot injuries on his abdomen, bleeding profusely. The driver, Dero Hilo Mahat, is then said to have sped off at least five kilometers from the scene of attack, escaping the wrath of the suspected terrorists. The vehicle, however, recorded a shattered windscreen, a front and rear left tire bust. The injured were quickly transported to the Mandera Referral Hospital for further treatment. It's been a rough couple of months for Mandara County. Back in May, 30 armed gunmen stormed Hareri Hosle village, injuring two police reservists and stealing two rifles. In August, one police sustained a bullet injury in Lafe after suspected Al Shabaab engaged National Police Reservists in an exchange of fire. Back in September, five security officers were killed when an armored personnel carrier vehicle was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade in Elwak town. This as 20 others were injured. In October, nine people were killed in Banisa by suspected clan militia. And early December, 11 people, among them police returning to work, were killed after suspected Al-Shabaab attacked a Mandera-bound bus. <laughs> Meanwhile, President Uhuru Kenyatta earlier this month officially opened the Modica barracks in Garissa County, aimed at boosting security in the country's northern frontier border with neighboring Somalia. Shukriwachu K24 TV.